What a picture we've got there. What does that bring to mind? Utter, utter fury. Anger is linked to survival and will override every other psychological experience as your brain thinks you are in danger. The lizard brain is non-selective, non-rational, which simply means that if you feel disadvantaged in any way, it could be a trigger for anger. Most of our learned behaviours are laid down under the age of seven. And you know what? We have not been brought up to display feelings of anger. This is not nice. This isn't how good people react. You are a bad person for reacting in this way. Calm down. What's wrong with you? So what happens is we learn to suppress the anger feeling. And remember that all emotions are energy in motion. So the anger will either be released or it will stay trapped inside of us. Because of how we evolve, the trapped anger cells will multiply and stay inside of us for years and years and years. And even a tiny thing triggers this emotion. We will erupt like Mount Vesuvius. And now, as we grow up, we feel even worse because we have displayed a feeling that when we were young was only for bad people. So now we feel something even worse than anger. We feel shame. And it's the shame that destroys our self-worth. When we lash out, we scream, we shout, we say things we don't mean. Our behaviour is totally irrational. This starts to destroy us because it truly means there's something wrong with us. And this perpetuates the entire cycle of feeling angry again. And this is a very, very common cycle. So if you take a look at the anger worksheet, you will see there are different types of anger. And if one type resonates with you, I want you now to be super aware of this situation. And once you notice that feeling inside of you, we can start to change the chemical that is being produced, which creates the thought, and then you take the action. We want to change this at a chemical level so it stops firing up that old anger neural pathway. The stop technique, remember from before, can work really well here as soon as you get that feeling and stop. So you're stopping that old pathway firing up again. The breathing techniques, the 478 breath, that pinpoint NLP energy spin we did from last week. And you have that recording too. And today we're going to bring in another method as well. And also some ways of you dealing with anger when you're by yourself. As anger is a primal response and one that is part of being human, we don't really want to get rid of it as such. It's, it's not like jealousy and it's not like shame, which actually serve no purpose at all. Because you know what? Sometimes we do need to feel angry when someone upsets us. We're not doormats. And we are learning to be human beings in that we embrace all of our feelings. And that is being angry. You know, sometimes I feel absolutely downright furious. If someone does something wrong to you or offends you or annoys you, it's normal to feel anger. You don't push it down inside of you and try and feel good. Absolutely not. But here's the key. We need to release this feeling in a healthy way and understand that when we feel it is appropriate to feel the emotion or if there's something from our past that is triggering the response. Not lashing out, not screaming at people, because at the end of the day, we then feel really bad. We feel guilt for our behaviour, so it does not help us. And it might be, you know, that we need some therapy around this and some hypnosis can really deal with deep childhood wounds. That may well be for some of us who are deeply wounded and have, you know, anger that's been su suppressed since we were very, very small. But the fabulous thing is, you can really start your journey right now. And today, I've included in this week's session, a recording on anger. 
And this allows you to start the release of anger in your own mind. Because so much of growth is not about trying to feel happy and joyful and all this positive stuff. If we put all that stuff on top of us, when we've got this anxiety, this anger, this rejection, this frustration all below the surface, it's absolutely pointless. So there's so much in growth and feeling free in respect of releasing and handling and managing and embracing the emotions that I like to call unpleasant. So this recording is going to really help you feel a sense of relief and you will feel lighter. But as I say, please listen to it in the daytime. It's not one to listen to before bed. So you've got the sleep one and you've got the positive um, recording and the stress one to listen to later in the day. But this one and the anxiety one, listen to them in, in the daytime so that you can process what's going on. So what we really want to remember with anger, the three golden rules, never hurt anyone else, never hurt yourself, and never hurt anything. Those are three golden rules. But it is okay to express anger. It is absolutely okay. You can go and punch the living daylights out of a pillow. You're not hurting you. You're not hurting anyone else. And you're not damaging anything. You can go and scream it out. But you must make very sure that you are by yourself. Otherwise, you're going to hurt someone else's ears. You can write it out. Just write, write and write. I get this a lot from people who are at work and they're furious with their boss. In fact, I've got two guys I'm still working with from Dubai and their bosses are totally out of order. But they've got to be very careful, you know, otherwise if they cross the line, they could lose their jobs. So sometimes they will actually write me six emails full of anger. And it isn't until, until that anger has been released that they actually send that seventh email. So work out what is right for you. Bring up that feeling inside of you like you practice for the stock technique. We've got to have that anger feeling, but know you can release it. So it's okay to bring it up. If your husband's really annoying you, bring that feeling up and go and punch the living daylights out of the pillow. And when you've released that anger, go and be really super kind to yourself. Go and do something really nice for yourself, even if that's just sitting down and having a cup of tea and saying, wow, well done. That was an amazing, healthy release. I love you. So work out what works for you. And these are tools for you to do by yourself. So you are learning to express and release anger. It's okay. It's okay to do this. In fact, it's not even okay. It's good good for all of us, every single one of us. I help five and six-year-olds with this. And it really makes a massive difference. You know, when someone's snatching a toy from them, they're supposed to feel angry. You know, my baby brother, he annoys, you know, the living daylights out of me. That little girl is supposed to feel angry. But to snatch it back from her brother or to shout at him or to hit him or, or whatever it is, is not a healthy response. 